Are you an exchange server administrator or an expert? What is more important when it comes to recovery of an exchange server? Data and availability. I found many people spend time to recover the data or give more importance for data recovery and that extended always the unavailability during recovery. And this lead to loss of many business hours and clients trust. I am Ahmad Niyas, an IT specialist, attended more than 10 exchange server migration in the last year. Today I am going to recommend from my experience a tool that you all should keep in your desktop to act on any emergency, that is kernel for exchange. A recovery tool, no, more than a recovery tool, where you can do migration or recover data from any sources as you see in the picture to the destination by simply drag and drop. Download a free version of uh, Exchange Recovery Tool. Uh, you can save like 25 items for a folder. And this will help you to review the product before you're going to buy it. And also you will be able to experience all the simplicity and features of Kernel for Exchange Recovery Tool. Once you complete the download and installation, open Kernel for Exchange Recovery Tool. The interface of uh, Kernel for Exchange itself is designed in a way to uh, make our job more easier. You can see there are sources which you can recover the data and there are destinations where you can place your data. For example, I have a corrupted offline EDB and I want to recover my data to a PST file or live exchange or I can go even through Office 365. Let's see one by one. Let us start from a corrupted offline EDB file. EDB file is a database of your exchange emails. Select your EDB source from here. Then click next. There are two options here, standard scan and that is recommended. The second one is deep scan. If the standard scan mode failed to give you the desired result, then you can go with deep scan. First, it is recommended to go with standard scan. Now the EDB file has saved as a successful source. You can start recovery from this point. You can see all the mailboxes that in the source. You can see now all the mailboxes in the EDB file. You can browse, you can check the emails, you can see the calendar items. Everything is there. Let us try to export the administrator email to a PXG. For that, right click on the administrator, then click export to PXG. You can recover all items to a PXG or you can just select inbox or any other folders and you can try to export to PXG. You can also filter your export by date and items and also you can split the PSD file like 1 GB or 100 MB based upon the size of your requirement. Let us choose a destination to place this PXT and click export. Now the item has exported. Let us add this as a data file to the Outlook so we can confirm that the recovery is successful. Here is everything you exported. You can also save the items to an existing PST by choosing a save or migrate to one of the PST here. Now let us see how to move or migrate the items to a live exchange. For that select live exchange and select one of the options. Then put your exchange server name. Then the mailbox name. Now the connection has made successfully and you can see my email is showing in the destination list. Once the source list and destination is ready, I just need to select all the email or the email whichever I want, just drag and drop. And you can see how it is going to happen. Done. Now we have all the emails that we copied. Let us verify by logging to the exchange. We recovered from an EDB to a live exchange server, right? So let's uh, log in and see. I have recovered those emails to one of the email named Jijo. So I'm going to log in and see. You can see everything I just drag and drop. Next, I'm going to connect 
a live exchange, a running exchange server so that I can migrate any emails from a running exchange server to any of the destinations shown here. So enter your exchange server IP address or exchange server name, mailbox name and connect to single or multiple mailboxes. Then click finish. You can see everything is very quick and fast. So now an exchange server, a live exchange server is ready at the destination. Once your source is ready, whether it is an exchange server or Office 365, you can move to anywhere. You can create a new PXT or you can move the data into an existing PST. Let us now add another exchange server. Enter the mailbox name. Click finish. Now the source and destination is ready. Now I can migrate data by simply copy and paste or drag and drop. You can see what I am doing now. Just select the emails and drop down. Now you will see everything as copied to the inbox of administrator very quickly. You can also export messages. Just right click and select a destination. Then click OK. Now it's extracted as a single mail. You can find it from the destination. So this give you more flexibility you can export as a single item from the EDB or Exchange Live or Office 365 from any sources. The same method you can also extract the attachment for that just right click and give a destination then click extract. Next I am going to show you how to migrate data between Outlook profiles. Add an Outlook profile as a source. You can select any profile that is configured in your system in your Outlook. And you can migrate to any word. Let's go for an Outlook profile, another one. It can be a Gmail or a Yahoo or any mail because you can configure uh, any emails in the Outlook. I'm choosing another profile. Done. Now you can move data between the source and destination. For example, you go and select your inbox, select your emails, and as I said, just drag and drop. Now let's start with Office 365. It's very easy. You just need to enter your email address, password, then click next. Choose your Outlook profile and connect it. Click finish. Now Office 365 has been added as a source. Next is destination. I'm going to choose live exchange so i can migrate from office 365 to exchange you can do this vice versa connection method is same whether it is a destination or source just enter the details now i can migrate any items from office 365 to exchange server I'm going to copy some of the emails and move it to live exchange server. The same method you can move your data from the PST. The same method you can move data from EDB file, corrupted EDB file 
to Office 365 as I'm showing here. I just selected the emails and I'm moving to uh, any of the destination. Now I have a PST as a destination, Exchange as a destination and also Office 365 as a destination. In the source, I have uh, EDB, corrupted EDB, then Live Exchange, then Office 365. So you can have all at one plane and you can move data from anywhere to any destination. For more details, visit Kernel Data Recovery website. You can visit from here. Thanks for watching this video. For more videos, subscribe my YouTube channel.